Traveling is about accepting the challenges along the way. It's the choice to keep moving, no matter how big or unexpected the obstacles are. We chose to move forward, to leave Moab and travel to beautiful Gateway in Colorado, where we visited an amazing auto museum and explored the surroundings on the back of a horse. But even leaving Utah was more difficult than expected because my Yamaha Tenere refused to start. So after the incident yesterday, um, our group now will separate much more early than we thought. We thought we would ride through Colorado together and go to Albuquerque in New Mexico. And I will be alone from now on from Moab and head into Colorado today. Due to the unexpected foot injury, our plans changed several times. We were not able to stay in Moab any longer because everything was booked. So our new travel companion decided to first drive back the rental bike of my injured travel partner to the next rental place in Grand Junction, Colorado. And we all would leave Moab on different ways and meet again in the small town gateway to spend two more days together before our path finally would separate. But while the other rider of our group dropped the motorcycle at the rental place, I had to deal with some new issues. Now we have a problem. So now we don't only have like one injured foot and we have an injured bike because it doesn't start anymore because of the kickstand. And whenever the kickstand goes up and if it, it's in a gear, it will die. So we have to kind of like cut the wires open now and find a way around it. It was Sunday morning. All shops were closed and I needed a solution for this problem as soon as possible. So I did what I always do when confronted with technical tasks. I watched several YouTube videos and decided that my motorcycle needs a little surgery. I realized the first cut is always the deepest. So, oh my god, I can't believe that I'm cutting a paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hope this is the right one. Hopefully it goes to that I think so. There's nothing else that's down there. My best bet to fix the issue was to cut the wires to my side stand and reconnect them. And the super nice stuff of our motel helped me out with moral support and a cable connector. <laughs> oh my god, what a start into the day. But now I'm on the road and our group all together will meet in a town gateway in Colorado but I will drive a different route because I want to go over a mountain pass and um, the driver of my injured travel partner refused to go here and our other companion um, with his road tires as well doesn't want to ride in gravel. So we will see. <laughs> From Moab, I first followed Highway 128, which is a beautiful curvy road along Colorado River. From Highway 128, I turned off to the beginning of La Salle Loop Road. Here you see where the two different landscapes of two different states kind of crash. Um, on the left, you see the typical red rock formations of Utah. And over there, there are snowy mountains, so I guess this is our first glimpse of Colorado. To reach the town gateway in Colorado, you don't follow the paved La Salle loop, but continue on the so-called Dolores Triangle Safari Route, aka Gateway Road, that soon turns into a packed gravel dirt road. The biggest difference here is that all of a sudden I'm completely alone and that the road gets a bit worse, but I'm looking forward to this mountain pass. 
I had to stop soon to enjoy the view on Bull Canyon and Fisher Mesa. Only much later, when I arrived in Gateway, I found out though that I missed a big attraction here. Very close to where I stopped, you can see dinosaur tracks that are dated to the Jurassic period about 200 million years ago. I have actually no clue what this road brings, but I like to ride so far and um, after White Rim Road, this feels like a gravel highway. Somehow my GPS refuses to navigate me on this route, it always tells me to turn around. Yeah, it's not happy with my choice, obviously. After what felt like the top of the pass to me, the road changed from gravel to a more earthy and sandy surface. It's completely sandy here, as you can see. The ground is getting more sandy now here on the road and I'm super happy that it's not wet because this is the type of road and can get you in serious slippery trouble if it becomes mud instead of solid ground. And um, yeah, the car driver of my travel partner actually said that this road sometimes is impassable. I'm getting closer to Gateway now and the landscape changed from green to more red again and I can view here into a canyon. I guess that's where I'm riding down now. Without knowing I was about to enter John Brown Canyon. This scenic side canyon of the Unaweep Canyon provides amazing views and is definitely a road less traveled. During my whole ride from the top of the La Salle mountains, I only met a few UTVs that were exploring the area. Wow, this feels like a real canyon now. Didn't expect that. From my last visit um, to Colorado, I only thought of Alpine mountains and didn't expect a landscape like this. Look at these super green trees. Somehow complete change here with these colors. What a view. Always feels like one view is more stunning than the other. The sun is always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades. 
So that's it. That must be gateway and here is where I stay for the night. Gateway has a population of 132 people, a post office, petrol station and a general store in one. It's best explored by bicycle. The town is most famous for its outdoors and amazing canyons and its hotel though. Gateway is home to the Gateway Canyon Resort and Auto Museum. It was built and is owned by Discovery Channel founder John S. Hendricks. In the last years, Hendricks was up for selling his property, including the resort and car collection, for a listing price of $279 million. If you don't have millions, you can just visit the car museum or stay for a night in the hotel, which is still expensive but maybe slightly more affordable. It might be a bit weird though that the hotel is bigger than the actual town, but who can get upset about small details like this when being able to listen to singing frogs that are as big as your head? There is not so super much going on in Gateway, Colorado, but there is a very interesting car museum. Seriously, don't miss out on this museum if you drive by Gateway. I normally rather choose to drive vehicles than looking at them, but the Auto Museum and Gateway has the most impressive collection of American cars I have ever seen. The Auto Museum celebrates the history, design and social impact of American cars. In its well-curated gallery setting, you find plenty of information and can experience the history from the early beginnings of cars, from vehicles that look more like a carriage, to some beautiful restored old-timers from old decades. The centerpiece of the museum is a 1954 Oldsmobile F88 dream car which was purchased in January 2005 at the Barrett-Jackson Classic Car Auction in Scottsdale for a record of $3.24 million. So this car was bought for $3 million and it's said to be worth $78 million these days. First I thought that I maybe have never stood so close to an expensive object. But then I found out that the painting of Mona Lisa is worth $860 million. Lisa always beats toy cars of millionaires. I had enough of motorized vehicles and decided to change the 75 horsepower of my Tenere for one for this afternoon. So today, Colorado horseback riding. In Germany we have the saying, das Glück der Erde liegt auf dem Rücken der Pferde, which means, the greatest happiness on earth is sitting in the saddle of a horse. Sometimes you need to change your perspective to find a new way, to see things you might have missed out on otherwise. Life is about moving and I was finally seeing the direction I wanted to head to. I hope you enjoyed the ride to and around Gateway. 
With the next episode, I will leave all my travel companions behind and continue the ride through Colorado and to the East Coast solo. Find out why I ended up in a workshop with my tannery, ride with me to the towns Ridgeway and Oray, and enjoy the Rocky Mountains. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you like this episode and let me know if you prefer motorcycles to golden cars.